All righty. Oh, I may go to rebel, yes, that's just what I am. And for this land of freedom, oh, I do not care a damn. I'm glad I fought against it. I only wish I'd won. And I don't ask any pardon for anything I've done. Now there is old Ben Butler, that thieving sly old coon. He stole all of our silver, even our silver spoon. He burned up all our houses and took our homes away. And as the only recompense, we killed the Yanks for pay. Three hundred thousand Yankees now lie in southern dust. Yes, we got three hundred thousand before they conquered us. They died of southern fever, of southern steel and shot. And I wish it had been three million instead of what we got. Now if there's anyone in the crowd don't like the song I sing, he can shoulder himself upon his back, jump up and flop his wings. For I sing songs to suit myself, I'm just that kind of a man. And I don't care a damn for U.S. Grant, nor any of his radical clamps. Oh, 
I'd kiss him and forgive him and lay me down and die. Why quickly ran on to him and heard his story or it was my long lost brother who lay weltering in his gore as I spoke of our loved ones left behind and soothed his fevered brow. He whispered, my dear brother, I can die happy now. Then quickly as a slumbering baby's fluttering eyelids closed, I saw him sink with shortening breath to death's long last repose. And with many a tear and sad farewell, I scooped a narrow grave. And there he sleeps beneath the sod by Antietam's rippling wave. The Battle of Fredericksburg. One of the old songs. It was just before the last fierce charge. Two soldiers do their reign. A parting word and a touch of the hand. They might never meet again. One had blue eyes and curly hair. Nineteen but a month ago. He had red on his cheek and down on his chin. He was only a boy, you know. The other was tall and dark and stern. His faith in this world was dim. He only trusted the more in those who were all this world to him. They had rode together on many a raid and marched for many a mile. And ever till now had they met the foe with a calm and hopeful smile. But now they looked in each other's face with a horrible ghastly gleam. The tall dark man was the first to speak, saying, Charlie, my hour has come. We'll ride together up yonder's hill, but you'll ride back alone. And I would ask you some trouble to take for me when I am gone. You'll find a picture upon my breast. I'll wear it into the fight. With dark blue eyes and clustering curls and a face like morning light. Like morning light was she to me. She gladdened a lonely life. Ah, little cared I for the frown of this earth. She promised to be my wife. Write to her, Charlie, when I am gone. Send back the fair fond face, and tell her, oh, tenderly, how I died, and where is my resting place. Tell her my soul will wait for her on the borderlands between the heavens and earth until she comes. It won't be long, I ween. Tears filled the blue eyes of the boy. His voice grew weak with pain. I'll do your bidding, comrade mine, if I ride back again. But if you ride back and I am dead, you must do as much for me. My mother at home must hear the news. Write to her tenderly. She has prayed at home like a waiting saint, her fond face white with woe. Her heart will be broken when I am gone. I shall see her soon, I know. One after another of those she loved, she has buried both husband and sons. I was the last at my country's call. She cheered and sent me on. 
Just then the order came to charge An instant hand touched hand I answered I and on we went With that brave devoted band Right over the crest of the hill we went Where the rebels with shot and shell Poured round of death and our toiling rank And just as we fell we turned with a horrible dying yell from heights that we could not gain and those who death and doom had spared rode slowly back again but the but among the dead that was left on the field was the boy with a curly hair and the tall dark man that rode by his side lay dead beside him there. Left none to write to the blue-eyed girl the words her lover had said, and the mother that waits at home for her boy must but learn that he is dead. She never will know the last one thought that has sought to soften her pain until she crosses the river of death and stand by his side again. Right, bye-bye, see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more content like this, be sure to take a shot at the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest bird dog content. And if you'd like to support the channel, for a limited time there's exclusive Civil War Diaries merchandise available in the video link below.